Oh, so that's it, huh? That's how you took the start out of the pack from Bowser. It seems like another wild adventure in the books, bro. The castle's back in its normal place, and everybody's returned home safely. You came through in the end, just like you always do. I know you've been back for some days now, but it feels like you're still kind of on an adventure, don't you? That's what reminds me. The past who traveled with you. I wonder what they're up to now. By the way, guys, as you can probably tell, I am terrible at doing Italian accents. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mario! Hey, Parker. What's up? I thought you were back at work delivering letters. Haha, <laughs> I sure am. But this isn't a social call. I dropped by to bring a letter to you, Gumbario. It's from Princess Peach. Huh? From Princess Peach? Whoa! What's he writing to me for? You know. We didn't find out. I've got to deliver more letters. Thanks, Parker. See ya. Keep working hard, buddy. Take care. How many times you gotta say goodbye? Hey, Gumbario! What is the Princess Peach writing a letter? Let me see! Hang on, Gumbario. Jeepers! This is an invitation to a party at the castle! It's just the princess is having a peer. Invited to the party. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yep, so Parker is going around and telling everybody that uh, Peach is uh, having another party to celebrate Bowser being defeated. And, uh, yep, now Bootler is giving the letter to Bo, one of the greatest party members any chance of a fan. But there, right there, is the best party member. Watt. I mean, Watt's going up with ya. And, just, I mean, you can't even be better than Watt. You can't even deny it. And Sushi's back. Babysitting them baby... I almost said Koopas. Baby Yoshis. And, uh, Black Lester. Back with his GF. Enjoying his time. I guess she did wait for him. But... Oh, there's Koopa. Now then, gentlemen. It's time to scale the frosty heights of the Crystal Palace. Koopa, old boy. You're in charge of guiding us. Your prior experience is terribly important to the success of our expedition. Yeah, leave it to me. I know the place from front to back. Cooper! Huh? Bark, eh? What brings you here? Phew, finally made it! I have a letter for you from Princess Peach. Whoa. Oh, wow! This is an invitation to a huge party at Princess Peach's castle! It's directly for the princess herself! I gotta send you around and everything! Cool! Oh, there's no way I can miss a bash this big, but... But I can't just return my back in an extra distance after I promised Prof Colorado. I should stay here and... Puppy, oh puppycock, boulder dash, don't be daft, dear boy. Turning down such an invitation would be terribly impolite. This is a golden opportunity. To go to this party this isn't, let's spare another thought. It would ruin the party if they didn't have the hero of the Koopa Village, nay, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom wasn't there. Well, I need to say that, Prof Colorado. You're so kind and generous. I'll do it. I hope you guys will have all right without me. I'm gonna party! Yay! Oh, Colorado, I have a message for you as well. Don't come back bothering ba don't come bo don't bother coming back home, you wanna buffoon and want no good husband. That was a message from your wife. Colorado, you sat out on this expedition without telling your wife again, didn't you? Boy, she was so furious. Oh good gracious! But Parker, what in the world if you didn't tell me this first? This is a crisis, old boy! I must take must go back home. That's basically what he said, just in weird ways of saying it because he's British. Huh? Did you hear something outside? I think I did. I'll go back and take a quick look. So yeah, you're welcome for the great, terrible Italian accent. You're welcome. You get to make fun of me now in the comments. You're welcome. Hey, bro, guess what? Barker just stopped by to drop a party invitation from Prince's Beach. He said that he's also invited to the party, so he took off and said he'd meet us at the castle when we arrived. Now, we better go through. That's just a fantastic Italian accent, and you can't even deny it. But yep, we are heading off to Princess Peach's castle for a party. Just the way we started off the LP, the way we're ending it. At a party for Princess Peach at her castle. Okay, listen, Mario. I'm just gonna go ahead. There's something important I have to do. What is it? Sorry, bro. It's top secret. Well, we will be finding out what he is doing. It's top secret until we find out what he's doing. But yeah, 
everybody we've met on our journey along this way is here. And... Yeah, even Colorado's making up with his wife. Actually, I want to check something. Oh, uh, no, nope, there's not a safe block here. I want to see if they actually took that out or if they actually left that in. But yep, everybody we've met has... Everybody that, uh... Yeah. <laughs> everybody that we've met on our journey along the way is here. At the party. Peach invited everybody. Moya, welcome to the castle. Princess Peach will be here very shortly. And now, Princess Peach. Right on cue. I mean, I don't think you'd be more perfect than that. Greetings to all of you. I'm so glad everyone could be here on this special day. The star had stolen by Bowser and returned to his rightful place in Star Haven. Peace is once again returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. Above all else, the stars are shining with more beauty and power than before, ever before. It seems like they're standing the rest of their thanks. Mario. Mario. Cooper. Bombette. Parker. Bo. Watt. Sushi. Lackluster. And everybody across the lands of the Mushroom Kingdom. We've regained peace with because of your, all of your efforts. Thanks to you very much indeed. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Hope that the Mushroom Kingdom will enjoy peace and prosperity for a long time to come, perhaps forever. Well, that's a lie. This is a heartfelt wish. It's a wish that's not going to come true. So, let's celebrate! Enjoy the festivities, everyone! Will do, Peach. You do not have to tell me twice to enjoy festivities. But... Oh, it's Luigi! Luigi is leading the parade that's going to be heading through through the credits. And, as the credits always signify, Let's Play Paper Mario is over. Oh my god, guys. What a journey. We're here, though. We're done. It took six and a half months of that. I can't believe that, actually. Looking back on it, I can't believe this LP only took me six and a half months. When you look at all the other Power Bower 2 Let's Plays that I've put up there, they, take, they all take more than six and a half months. I mean, the only one that's ever taken less than six and a half months was... Well, obviously, Sonic Riders. <laughs> that was a short-ass Let's Play. But, uh... Fire Red. Because that was like five months. But... You're not... By the way, guys, don't go back and watch those Fire Red LPs. That's a, that's a terrible LP, by the way. <laughs> it just got awful. But yeah. Now, through the credits, you're gonna see everybody we have meet, met along the way, including the Koopa Bros back there, who just got blown up by their own bombs. And now, uh, we get to see Colorado and his wife on the giant tuna tuna tuna. But we're gonna meet everybody that we already met along the way. But yeah, going back to this, I can't believe that this took six and a half months. When you compare that to a thousand year door, a thousand year door took me about two years. Yeah. And this took half a year. What a difference just being on top of things makes. I mean, I want, I was recording all the time. I was getting ready to upload these videos, because as you guys know, I'm not a very consistent uploader. And, I mean, it was like 34 episodes? 36? 35? Somewhere around there? And, I mean, that six and a half months, I'm averaging like four, like one episode every four days. That's not too bad, actually. Considering the fact that, like, usually it's like one episode every month. <laughs> two every month, if you're lucky. I mean, just, like, it's incredible. But, yep. If you've been watching the uh, video, there's a lot of comedy put into there. And, uh... Oh my god, it's the Golden King! We have not seen him since Prologue Part 3. Was it Prologue Part 3? I believe it was. It's either 2 or 3. I think it was 2, actually. Yeah, that was the last time we saw the Goomba King. Can you guys believe that? Prologue Part 2 was the last time we saw the Goomba King. It doesn't feel like... That was 30 episodes ago. About... Maybe a little bit more than that. 
unless, I don't know. But, like, that's a long time ago that we saw the Goomba King. I mean, it feels like... I actually, it honestly, kind of feels like I started this LP not that long ago. And, I mean, it obviously... I started this six and a half months ago, and I can't believe it's already over. But, yeah. And relating this to my other LPs, I would say this ranks near the top of my best Let's Plays I've ever done. Right up there with Wind Waker. Mainly because it's the first LP I've done where my voice was deeper the entire time. <laughs> I mean, it's probably really annoying to listen to a guy who's talking like this. It's like, hey guys, why about you here? Yeah, that's probably not the greatest thing to hear. Be up gourmet, guys. Eaton, Huff and Puff, and Crystal King just walking like a complete beast. What? Uh, it was a duplicate ghost. He got you. What? Oh, it was another Google ghost. Oh my god. And that's the real Crystal King. And his crystals come and take him off into the distance. Er, off into the sunset. And Junior Troopa is uh, having a magic battle with Kama Koopa. And watch this right there. She teleports. Like, what the heck, man? That's actually pretty badass. I mean, I actually wish we actually would have had an honest-to-god, like, fight with Kami Koopa. Because, I mean, she's pretty awesome. I mean, if she's able to teleport like that, I mean, that'd be nice to have an actual battle with her, not just with the thing. And they're gonna get in trouble for, uh, burning Bow Wow. Yep. They get burned. Sucks to suck. And now, they are... The Star Spirits have made a Christmas tree! Three Christmas trees. But yeah. This, going back to that, this LP being one of my better runs ever. It's also with a full screen Let's Play. HD. Yeah, you're welcome for that, guys. Although it probably wasn't the greatest HD considering it was an N64 game. But I mean, it's better than not HD. And that conductor there, I believe, is from a Super Mario RPG. It is the only one just for me. I have never actually completed that game. I've played it, I don't own it, and that's why I've never beaten it. I plan to eventually beat it, and I could do a Let's Play of it, but who knows? It depends on, on how much you guys like this LP also, because it's a very, well, it's not very, very similar to this game really at all. The only similarity it has is it's, RP, it's an RPG and you have, a, you have party members. Well, it's not really the same in RPG, it's different. You'll have to wait and find out. But also, how was the sun out and it's still dark? I've never understood that. That always confused me. And the Bulba was just trotting along, trying to think they're cool, trying to act like they're cool, but they're really losers. Nah, they're right. They're, they're just plump little fat pieces of crap. And the Shy Guys are coming in. Oh, they're going to try and act cool? Oh, wait. I remember what's going to come up here. Dance party. Okay, sorry, I had to dance a little bit there. And who knew that the uh, Shy Guys would be so military-ish? Is that an adjective? I don't know what an adjective would be to describe military. <laughs> I don't know. Militiac? Should I use militia? I don't really know. Don't ask me. But yeah. I did not talk about a whole lot during these credits. These credits are about to wrap up. And... I can't believe the Toads are able to blow their noggins. I don't know how to talk about much during these credits. I mean, I just said the same stuff over and over again. Really. But going back to... No, I'm not going to do that again. And, yeah, look at that. The, sh the mushroom's spinning on the thing really, really, really slowly. But, yeah. We have reached the end of the credits, pretty much. Oh, so, I f forgot to mention... Hopefully you guys didn't mind me doing another Mario LP, because I've been doing a lot of those lately. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the Sonic LP alongside, but I'm not going to talk about that because it's the Mario credits. But, hope you don't mind me doing a lot of Mario LPs. Hope f I'm just not sure what I'm going to do next completely. I have a very good idea, though. So, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do. But, yeah, guys.
that is the end of Let's Play number 7, <laughs> I think. Yeah, this is the end of Let's Play number 7, Paper Mario. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. And I did too, it was a great six and a half months. And, yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I will see you guys all in my next LP. What is it, you may ask? As I said, I don't have a complete idea, but I have a very good idea. You just have to stay tuned and find out for yourself. Bye, guys.